Back from the dead. Hey Team Nightmare! We're gonna get right into the tutorial on this one. I used a NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil to trace out the outline of the shape that I wanted for the body. I wanted to go with a thinner neck just to create like a sickly feel. Then I went in with a teal aqua paint. This is where you could make it any color you wanted I just went with that one because I don't know I just wanted that one it spoke to me if you've been following me for a little bit now you would know that I've used these teeth in quite a few makeup looks I made them a while back and I fell in love with them and I just can't stop using them the whole point of this video is to do something that you're proud of and that you think is one of your best works and I think these teeth were a pretty good creation so I had to use them. I just went through and continued to paint the rest of my face to make it all match together. Then I went in and painted black for the negative space so that at the very end, once I was filming my final video, it would blend into the background and it would kind of give that illusion that I was that skinny. If only. <laughs> It was at this moment that Toby knew. He f***ed up. I realized that I really should have painted the part for my mouth before I glued the teeth on. I ended up ripping the bottom jaw off and gluing it back on after I painted it. Now, this part with the paintbrushes was really simple. All I did was hot glue a bunch of paintbrushes to a piece of paper and made it into a headband. Once I got it to fit, I went through and painted the sides black so that that wasn't seen, so that it kept the illusion. Next I went over them with latex so that I could go ahead and put cotton balls on top and build up the fake skin. This is the same process that I use for the teeth. If you guys are interested in how I made the teeth, I could make a tutorial or something on it. If you like that, just go ahead and... Leave a comment down below and I'll do something like that in the future. Once it was dry, I went in with the NYX SFX setting powder and I just set the latex so that it wasn't shiny or sticky anymore. And then I painted over it to give it the final skin color. Well, I guess I shouldn't say final skin color because the skin color was a nightmare on this look. I think I went through and did four different options and I couldn't find one that I liked. Thankfully at the very end I finally found one so I was able to use this makeup look. 
I went in with another jumbo pencil in black to do the eyeliner and then afterwards I put a black shadow on top so that it would set it and keep it from shifting around while I was taking pictures. Then this is when I finally decided on the final skin tone. I had changed it so many times. And then at the very end, going in and adding the drips for the paint coming off of the paintbrushes. I don't know what I would explain this look as. I guess what I'm calling it is a creative nightmare. This look was a creative nightmare, but it was well worth it. If you guys don't know already, this is my audition for the next Face Awards, so fingers crossed we can make it into the top 30 because I would love to do some challenges and see how far I can make it. So fingers crossed. Thanks guys.